All right, students, let's go ahead and now revise the next chart. The next chart is on charge of GST. Right, everyone? Let's take a quick linking. We started learning GST with goods and service. Whenever goods and service will be supplied, supply, then what will be levied, everyone? GST will be levied. Are we clear, everyone? Now, whenever you talk about levy section, CGST is levied under section number 9. IGST is levied under section number 5. Right, everyone? We are going to learn section number 9 now. Section number 9 has section number 9, 1, 9, 2, 9, 3, section number 9, 4, and section number 9, 5. 9, 1 goes ahead and talks about normal levy. When will CGST be levied? CGST will be levied whenever you go ahead and supply intrastate supply of goods, services, or both. But not levied on what? Alcoholic liquor for human consumption. It will be levied on the value which is determined under section number 15. Rate will be told by the government. On the Government will notify on the recommendation of council. We just have to collect and pay if I am a taxable person. Section number 9 to Sage, HP man, high speed diesel, petroleum crude, motor spirit, aviation turbine fuel and natural gas. GST will be levied. But from a date notified by government on recommendation of council. Section number 93 went ahead and talked about those services on which GST will be applicable under RCM. Goods and services both are there, but goods are not part of our syllabus. Only services are part of our syllabus. And hence, we are going to learn about the various services on which reverse charge mechanism is applicable. The first service which is there is talking about a GTA. Always remember one thing, GTA which is there has three options. One is if GTA does not take registration, it means always the recipient pays 5% RCM. But if GTA wants, the new amendment now is GTA can go for 5% forward charge mechanism or GTA can go for 12% forward charge mechanism. A GTA is a person who issues consignment note. Remember always, if GTA is going ahead and giving services to an unregistered person under GST who is factory registered under Factories Act, Society registered under Societies Act, Body Corporate which is registered under basically Body Corporate whichever act, their law whichever is there, then Cooperative Society which is registered, Partnership Firm whether registered under Partnership Act, unregistered under Partnership Act, it includes association of person and LLP. Then in this scenario, always what will happen? RCM will be applicable. But if there is a GTA which is under forward charge, then forward charge mechanism will be applicable. Means GTA will collect and pay. GTA when it is not registered, then always you will pay under RCM. But if GTA is registered and takes 5% option, it will collect from you 5% and pay to the government and it will not get any ITC. But when it is collecting 12%, it will get ITC. That's all is the difference. If GTA is going ahead and providing services to these people, RCM will come. Uh, if GTA is forward charge wala GTA, then forward charge mechanism. Can I go ahead? Unregistered person under GST. If it is an unregistered person under GST who is casual taxable person, then exempt. Here also exempt. Other unregistered person other unregistered person under GST ka case may also exempt. But if GTA is providing services to a registered person, which is a TDS deductor, which is basically central government, state government, or United Territory government, or governmental authority, which is registered as what? TDS deductor, then also exempt. But if registered person is other registered person, other registered person might be CTP, NRTP, right everyone? Regular taxpayer. Composition dealer, always remember RCM or if GTA is forward charge wala GTA, GTA will collect and pay the GST to the government under forward charge mechanism. So I am telling over here GTA, which GTA ka case may reverse charge is there? 5% reverse charge will come when the GTA is unregistered and sir, providing services to factory, body corporate society, cooperative society, partnership. Registered under Partnership Act, unregistered under Partnership Act, including LLP and AOP or providing to a registered person under GST or to registered casual taxable person. But if registered person is TDS deductor, then it will be exempt. 
Now they are telling reverse charge is not applicable if GTA has taken registration and it is telling, sir, I will collect the GST under forward charge mechanism and he is giving you a tax invoice charging GST, whether 5% or 12%. If he is charging you the GST, then reverse charge will not be applicable and he will also make a declaration on the invoice that I am charging the GST under forward charge, you don't pay under RCM. This is the amendment in GTA. Remember, whenever GTA is providing services, always reverse charge is there. But if GTA wants, GTA can go ahead and opt for forward charge. If GTA is opting for forward charge, reverse charge will not come. Then, if advocate is going ahead and providing services or senior advocate is providing to a business entity, which business entity whose last check of turnover is greater than registration limit, then only RCM. Otherwise, always exempt. If arbitral tribunal is providing services to which business entity, big business entity, whose last check of turnover is more than registration limit, only then RCM, otherwise exempted. Sponsorship services provided to body corporate or partnership firm in the taxable territory, always what will happen? RCM. Sir, central government, state government, unit territory or local authority going ahead and doing what? Any services given to business entity, which is big business entity and the amount is more than 5,000, then RCM is there. Other means, if they are giving to business entity whose aggregate turnover in the last year is more than registration limit and the amount charge is more than 5,000, then reverse charge will come. But it is not applicable in the case of PAIT, Department of Post Related Service, Aircraft or Vessel Related, uh, Airport or Port Related Service, Immobile Property Related Service and Renting of Immobile Property Related Service and Transportation of Goods or Passenger Related Services. Then they went ahead and told over here, Sir, Central Government, State Government, Union Territory or Local Authority, if they are going ahead and giving what? Renting of Immobile Property, always what will happen? Registered person will pay GST under RCM. The new entry over here is, any sir person giving what? Renting of residential house, if they are giving to unregistered person, no GST. But giving to registered person, my residential house I give to registered person for using, then always registered person will pay GST under RCM. If I am going ahead and giving my development right or floor space index to whom? Promoter, promoter will pay GST under RCM. If I am going ahead and giving long term lease pay land, which is 30 years or more to a promoter, who will pay the GST? promoter director giving services to a company or body corporate in the taxable territory who will pay the gst company will pay the gst under rcm there is a circular over here independent directors are always they are not the employee and when they are not the employee whenever services are given by independent director to company company will always pay gst under rcm but if there is a whole time director and he is giving services to the company and company pays what salary and deducts tds under section number 192 salary pay baba employer to employee relation neither supply of goods nor supply to when employee is giving services to employer it is neither supply of goods nor supply of service but if there is a whole time director who is not an employee and he is being given what professional pays company has deducted tds under 194j also then it's a supply and gst will be applicable under rcm Next, insurance agent giving services to insurance company in taxable territory, RCM. Recovery agent giving to banking company, financial institution, NBFC, RCM. Music composer giving to music company, photographer or artist giving to whom? Producers or like. What are the services they are giving? They are allowing their services by way of transfer of or permitting use or enjoyment of. Copyright, if they are giving relating to original dramatic, musical or artwork, if they are giving to whom? Music company or producer, then who will pay the GST? Music company or producer will pay the GST under RCM. Then, if there is an author who is unregistered or who has not taken, who has not exercised the option to pay GST under forward charge, always who will pay GST? Publisher in the taxable territory will pay GST under RCM. But if a author wants, author can go ahead and opt for what? Forward charge mechanism. In that scenario, forward charge mechanism will be applicable. If author has taken registration, he has filed a declaration that he exercises the option to pay GST under forward charge. He has filed a declaration with his jurisdictional officer that, sir, I am going to pay GST under forward charge and I am going to comply with all the provision of the GST law 
as they would have apply, applied to the publisher. It means I will only raise the invoice, I will only collect the GST, I will only go ahead and pay it to you and he will comply with all the provision as they apply to a person paying the tax and thus he, he shall not withdraw the option for how much time? One year from the date of exercising and he will also make a declaration on the invoice which he is giving to publisher that sir, I am paying the GST, you don't pay under RCM. Next, sir, if members of overseeing committee are giving services to RBI, RBI pays GST under RCM, individual direct selling agent, individual direct selling agent, don't forget, giving services to whom? Banking company or NBFC, banking company or NBFC pays GST under RCM, business facilitator giving to bank, RCM, agent of business correspondent giving to business correspondent, then only RCM, business correspondent pays. So, business facilitator to bank, RCM, agent of business correspondent to business correspondent, RCM. Are we clear everyone? Next. But always remember one thing. These services will be exempt. There will be no GST. If services by business facilitator or business correspondent and their intermediary is given with respect to a accounts in rural area branch. Can we go ahead everyone? Next. So, sir, the next one over. What did I tell you in uh, this thing? Business facilitator everyone. This is business facilitator. This is business correspondent. This is bank. And this is also bank over here. This is the agent of a business facilitator. This is the agent of a business correspondent. When they are giving to the bank, then it is RCM. When they are giving to the business correspondent, it is RCM. What about this two scenario? It is always under forward charge mechanism. But if the services are with respect to rural area branch, then all this will be, there will be no GST under forward charge or reverse charge. Reverse charge is only when business facilitator gives to bank or when agent of a business correspondent gives to the business correspondent. Can we go ahead everyone? Remember, business facilitator is always free, F for free. When he is giving to the bank, bank will pay. When agent will give him service, agent will collect and pay. He is always free. When business correspondent gives it to the bank, business correspondent is always stuck. He gives to the bank, he will have to collect under forward charge. His agent giving him service, he will have to pay under reverse charge. So, both the place may, he is only stuck. Can we go ahead everyone? The next one over here is security services means providing what? Security personnel by any person other than body corporate to a registered person. Registered person will pay GST under RCM. But mind it, if this registered person is a TDS deductor, central government, state government, who is registered as TDS deductor or composition dealer, then RCM is not applicable. If RCM is not there, what will happen? Forward charge mechanism. Not applicable when central government, state government, local authority or governmental authority is registered as TDA director or composition dealer. The next one is renting of motor vehicle which is designed to carry passenger plus fuel cost is included in the consideration charge. If any person is going ahead and giving services to a body corporate, which person who is not charging invoice, who is not issuing invoice charging 12%. So either I am not issuing invoice at all or I am not, I am going ahead and charging and issuing an invoice, charging 5%, then who will pay always GST? Body corporate. Body corporate in the taxable territory will pay GST under RCM. Security is lending. Whenever one lender will go ahead and give securities to a borrower, who will pay the GST? Borrower always pay the GST under RCM. I went ahead and told you how to remember this everyone. You have to remember D I A G R A M S. Right everyone? D for director, yes everyone, D for direct selling agent who is an individual. The next one over here, I for insurance agent, then I for immovable property ka whenever renting is done. Or are we clear everyone? The next one, A for arbitral tribunal, A for advocate or senior advocate, G for GTA, which GTA who has not opted for forward charge mechanism, G for government, government related services, A for agent of a business correspondent is also there or business facilitator, R for renting of motor vehicle, then R for recovery agent, then residential house i have written over here you can write over here also renting of 
residential house to a re re registered person the next one over here is author then artist or photographer also you can write artist and photographer comes together then everyone m for music composer composer then m for members of overseeing committee are we clear everyone what is the next one over here we have as for as for sponsorship sponsorship services security services and securities lending then what did what did we leave out everyone development right d for development we did we cover all of them development right or floor space index or long term lease chalo we have gone ahead and covered all the rcm entries you just have to remember diagrams now section number 94 which is there says whenever one unregistered person will supply to registered person notified category basically specified category of goods and service only then rcm will come so if there is a builder promoter who is going ahead and buying input and input services he should buy at least 80% from registered person if he is bought might be only 70% from registered person that 10% differential pay he will have to pay gst under rcm cement bought by a builder also he has to pay gst under rcm if he is buying from unregistered person capital goods bought by a promoter if he is buying from unregistered person he will have to pay gst under rcm section number 95 which is there is not applicable at intermediate level it just says that government will notify some services for which e commerce operator will go ahead and pay all the taxes and he will be the person liable to pay all the tax but as of now for intermediate level this is not applicable i have written over here what do you mean by fb scoop and the last one over here is igst act everyone listen cgst act ka levy section is section number 9 section number 91 says it is applicable on intra state same way section number 51 says it is applicable for interstate supply basically cgst will be levied on intra state igst will be levied on interstate that is told by section number 51 20% which is written over here will become 40% because igst is nothing other than cgst plus sgst put together the rest everything is same in section number 512 55 the only thing is intra becomes enter for your example igst act is not important what do you have to remember over here the most important part over here is sir this is applicable for ca final so i'm not teaching you now sir the most important part over here which you have to remember is section number 93 section number 93 they are going to ask you 4 to 5 mark a question so that is the most important part what are the two amendments i have told you goods transport agency whenever they are providing service if they are unregistered reverse charge if they are forward if they are registered they can go for 5% forward charge or 12% forward charge if they are going for forward charge then they have to issue a tax invoice charge gst and also they have to make make a declaration on the invoice that sir i am paying the gst under forward charge you don't have to pay under reverse charge one more amendment which is there over here is renting of residential dwelling to a registered person reverse charge mechanism will come department of post related amendment is there but that you will be covering in the exemption ka chart right everyone here we are done with charge of gst ka chapter congratulations people done